Hello guys and welcome to TV Calibration with Darko. In this video I am reviewing Philips PUS7600 model settings after calibration. I'll show you the menus, I'll share tips on how to improve picture quality on this model. Up until IFA fair in Berlin this year this was the best model in Philips lineup for 2015. Um, it offers Ambilight, Ultra G resolution, Philips own processing and Android operating system. However, I was a bit surprised when I placed my meter on this model to find that picture styles are not really precise. Even movie preset, which usually is close to reference values, was really off the chart, especially in terms of white balance, with too much blue in picture, which made everything look a little too cool and not really pleasant to watch. But still, I used movie preset to do complete calibration. So let's see settings. Color, default 50. Contrast. Contrast, in fact, is LED brightness, so if you increase this value, you will get brighter picture without affecting black or white levels. Um, this is Ambilight TV, so um, I recommend that you increase brightness of the TV itself, even if you will watch it in pitch black room, because Ambilight will make um, this peaks uh, more easy on your eyes. Sharpness by default is at zero. You can play with this setting, increase it if you like. Um, I, I like to leave uh, this artificial sharpening off. Advanced offers first option if you are connecting uh, this TV to game console or computer. Uh, for movies, I recommend leaving this option off. Then in color mode, we have color enhancement, which is disabled. Color temperature, custom, and now let's go. So in custom menu, you see that you can adjust only one point of the grayscale. And since there was too much blue, as you can see, blue value was reduced, but also I had to reduce green because green was getting really pronounced. Um, this is adjustment for backlight, which I left at default value because it wasn't really making too much difference when I was playing with it. So this is for me, it's not perfect result. It's not like after calibration of Samsung TV with 10 point white balance or Panasonic, even better example. But I managed to reduce this blue cast of the picture quite significantly. Okay, so now let's go back to contrast section. Here you see contrast mode, which is basically local dimming control. You can either turn it off or pick one of these presets. I recommend choosing standard because it will even further improve contrast of the picture. It will make gamma more flat, especially in brighter area. And backlight bleed, which is pronounced on this model, at least on sample which I got, you will also reduce this backlight bleed on the edges. Dynamic contrast, you can guess it's turned off. Brightness, now this is black level. I had to increase it a little bit to reveal darkest details of the picture. Video contrast, this is actually white level. I picked it at 95 also to get more flat gamma. This TV offers light sensor, which will adjust intensity of LED backlight depending on room lightning. For this example, for uh, uniform picture performance, I turned it off. And finally gamma, so I wanted to get 2.2 value, so I had to reduce it a little bit because by default picture was a little darker than 2.2 definition. Sharpness, basically here you have ultra resolution, so if you want to make uh, edges of objects more clear, more sharp, you can turn it on. Also noise reduction and MPEG artifact reduction. 
Um, noise reduction is not as efficient as on LG or Samsung models. It's similar to, let's say, Panasonic. So depending on the signal, you can play with the settings. Same goes for MPEG artifact reduction. Motion, you can get improved motion resolution if you turn clear LCD on and if you want soap opera effect, so more smooth motion, then play with perfect natural motion option. I recommend for watching movies to turn it off. And finally picture format, I recommend advanced and setting original. Okay, now let's see some content. As you saw, uh, Philips POS 7600 does not offer color management system. Luckily, colors by default were very precise, 99% of Rec. 709 coverage. So, their uh, luminance, their saturation was really nice. Skin tones are also well defined, despite the fact that white balance was not perfectly set. This TV can display, let's say, half of its vertical resolution during motion, which is okay for watching movies, but for sports I would recommend some other model with improved motion resolution. Um, contrast is really high, black is really nice, uh, great for movies, and also motion of 24p content is really nice. Uh, more details I will reveal in separate review, so now you saw settings after calibration and I hope they will be of help to you to get the most out of this model. So thank you once again for watching my videos and see you next time.